Hey everybody, Scout Crafter here again. The other day we made a video about talking about some wood drill bits. Uh, one of my subscribers from across the pond, Just B 1066 mentioned why don't they do something about sheet metal. I got to drill a piece of sheet metal today, so we're over at the drill press. And we got a piece of sheet metal down, let's see what we can do. Okay, we're over at the drill press. We have a backer board. We have a 16th of an inch piece of uh, nice tin here. I'm going to put this into the uh, drill press. We're going to hold it tight. And if you've ever seen... <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do it. Obviously, if you've ever seen a piece of sheet metal drilled before, you know that these flutes here, as soon as it breaks through there, we'll catch it. We'll spin this around uh, like a whirly gig, and it will make this into a razor cutting machine, cutting up your fingers and your hand or whatever. So we never ever cut uh, something like this in here. You possibly could do it if you uh, were to clamp it down and, and make a, a whole uh, device that you could clamp down and, and make sure your hands are away from that that could grab. But anything with a flute in here is going to give you a problem. So let me give you something that I picked up a while ago that worked really good. I want to share with you. Okay, these are called step drills or... The one uh, brand that started most of that I, I can think of is called a Unibit. This is an original Unibit. And you can see that it's a step they have. It's, it's a machined and forged piece of uh, metal that has steps on it. And that's why they call them step drills. And you can see, if you look closely, you could see the graduations marked on there for each step. And these have it too. These are, it's a, this is by my drill master. It's a knockoff, uh, cheaper. But you could see this here, but it's, uh, with this one, it's made, it's engraved, so you have to look, it's um, a little bit more difficult to see. But this is, these things are great. They drill through uh, plastic, they thrill, drill through uh, metal, and uh, up to about a quarter of an inch. And let me show you how these work, they're really great. Okay, whenever we're gonna uh, drill sheet metal, we don't wanna put our hands anywhere near these sharp edges. If it does catch with any kind of drill bit, it could spin and cut you. So we clamp it down into the onto the uh, drill press table. We have a clamp down between two pieces of wood. And first we're gonna drill a, uh, a slight hole. <laughs> That's the first hole we made. Now, you can see very little burrs on top of here. And, and again, anytime you touch sheet metal, you gotta be very careful because you will, these little slivers of metal will get caught and cut you quicker than anything. So uh, you can see that nice, beautiful hole it made. And that was the, uh, the first hole. Let's see what it says here, over here. Um, I think that says, well, it's just below 330 seconds. Can't really see it from there. It's upside down. <laughs> so now we're gonna drill it, <clears throat> make some more holes, and we're gonna show you how this enlarges it and how nice it works. Here's the next step, drilling through. Okay, that's the next step. We'll do one more. And right there, that's the next step. You can see each step, it comes up makes a nice hole beautiful smooth hole I'll show you what it looks like okay this hole that I made was a 5 16 hole and you can see nice and clean however on the other side whenever you drilling sheet metal you get a lot of a deformation you get a little bit of a, a tear out now I'm going to show you how we take care of that there's two ways you could do it you could take a uh, uh, you could take a countersink and hit it back the other way but what I like to do is just reverse it into the same bit okay now to get rid of this what we're going to do is I left the table just a little bit loose so we can move it back and forth, but it is clamped tight onto the base. Bring it down, center it, slowly bring it down until 516. Okay. Now, there we do. We deburred the, the top. It's beautiful on both sides. I'll show you what it looks okay. like. Okay, here's that hole. There's the one side and the other. Beautiful hole, perfectly round. These unit bits are fantastic. Smooth. It's all deburred now on both sides. It's just that's the way to do it in sheet metal. And you can make it all the way up to the largest size of the unit bit. Now let me show you what it does in plastic. It is it's great in plastic. Okay, here we have a quarter inch piece of acrylic. 
and we're going to uh, drill a small hole in here and enlarge it and show you what it does on, on plastics. It's really outstanding. <laughs> Okay, now you see that it's a bit of a tapered hole because of the the steps here. We don't we have longer bits that have a different, but I'm going to go a little bit larger here, and I'm going to show you. Now you see it's a little bit conical the hole, but all we do is reverse it and bring it right up to the same step that we had on the other one. And there we have a beautiful hole that's deburred on both sides because as soon as you touch the the beginning of the next step here it deburs it automatically and look at that if you, and, and I know for a fact it's going to drill this this can split a little bit this type of it's not like a uh, a softer plastic this is a hard this will split but not with this you can see it melted right into it it's just a beautiful clear hole plastics okay here we have another type of plastic this is a uh, about a 3 16 inch piece of polyethylene uh, very easy to drill through, not hard to drill through, but I want to show you the kind of finish you get in the larger hole. Now we're bringing it through. Okay. And stop it for a second to get rid of some of the... Uh, the spray that could build up and we're just going to touch it on the other side to get rid of this this little bit of okay now look at that hole look at that hole. look at it it's even polished on the inside of the hole again no burrs on either side i'll tell you unibit or step drills the kind you get you cannot beat these drills uh they're well worth the price. They're very inexpensive now. And I have found that the uh, off-brands work very well also. So if you want to just give a, a shot, give it a try for a smaller uh, drill bit, one that you don't have to spend a lot of money, you try it, and uh, I'm sure you'll like it. So anyway, I hope that helped. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.